Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to Lumberjack's Dynasty for episode number 23, I believe, which is pretty cool. Now, I know that everybody's, uh, a lot of people have mentioned, ah, uh, you can load these racks um, using, the, using the truck and it's a whole lot easier and stuff like that, but um, I actually really enjoy using this forklift, so my plan is to continue to use it. Now, this one here just doesn't want to go in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down here for now. There we go, and uh, we'll put this one in the rack first, and then uh, we'll get these we'll get these four pallets in the rack, in the drying racks, and then I'll show you what I've been doing off camera. I have been doing a little bit of work off camera uh, because it's a uh, I thought all, all of this loading and stuff like that probably uh, wouldn't have been super exciting to do on camera, so I hope everybody's well. Hope you're enjoying your lumberjacking. I certainly am. I certainly am. All right, so here we go. So there's only uh, another couple of pallets left and then job's done. I'm trying to fill these uh, fill these drying racks up at this point in time, um, including the stuff that we had already, the wet wet stuff that we had already stored over in the shed. Um, there's still not quite enough to fill up the other side, but I've certainly filled up this side of the rack. So uh, let's see, get you up there, throw you down there. There we go, excellent, and uh, one more, one more to do. And there we go with there. Whiz you up there, and hopefully that is it for this one. Okay, beautiful. Let's just drop that down. Uh, I might park the fork over here, I think, actually. We'll just park him in here on the grass. All right, there you go. Excellent. All right, so what I've done is I've got all of these racks full of uh, full of wet planks through here, and I've got uh, just this section here, the two, the two bottom ones there of wet planks, and that was all of the wet planks that came off of uh, that came out of the sawmill from the last lot that we did and all of the wet planks that were over there in that shed. Uh, what I did prior to filming this episode was I emptied all of these racks with the fork and I've brought them all around here. So these are all dry planks here, uh, which is quite a load. Is It's going to be quite a bit of money there. Uh, I've also put six dry lots of planks down here that we can pick up with a the truck there. So um, yeah. It's been fun. It's been fun doing all of that. We don't have any more logs processing or anything like that at this point in time. But uh, no drama because we still have quite a few logs to pick up up at our uh, forest there. Once we sell off these planks and sell off some more, um, some more bark and stuff, then we are going to have uh, quite a bit of money to purchase some new property, new land and stuff like that. So that's the plan. Um, it's still the same day as what we put these uh, beehives in, so uh, at this point in time, it's going to take a while for that to happen. Uh, also, somebody did mention, and I apologise that uh, I don't have your name at the moment. Uh, you can see that they, someone also mentioned that after I slept for a week, uh, I didn't uh, water the greenhouse. So as soon as I got into the game this time, I did a big panic run over here and I found that this was sitting at this. So, um, so thankfully, <laughs> thankfully I didn't uh, kill all of our crops here. So we'll just give that a little bit of a water. Oh, that one didn't seem to want to turn off then. Uh, so yes, look, we've got some, uh, we've got some flowering happening here for our pumpkins. Uh, we've got some tomatoes on the tree already green at the moment but oh goodness not too far away at all so we'll keep all that happening and i think that was because we slept for a week as well um 
So uh, the plan is to grab some of those pallets um, and come through here and actually start doing some work on uh, replacing the panels on the house here. Also, um, uh, big dork, big dork. Uh, you cannot, you cannot cook anything um, unless you have it in your inventory. So you can't cook directly from the uh, from the thing here, which is which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I thought that you could cook from the pantry um, without having stuff in your inventory, but that's okay because. Uh, I'm pretty sure that your wife, when you stock the pantry, can do can do that herself. So, uh, also, you probably would have noticed uh, my little note to myself on the last episode. Um, <laughs> there is a button here to press. I mean, my goodness, uh, apple jam. We'll make one of those because I've got uh, an apple in my inventory. Uh, I did eat one of the other apples. Uh, what other stuff we've got fish in oil so we can make three of those so you just click on that button and you cook oh dear me all right beautiful there we go i don't think we've got enough to make anything else um, in regards to the mushrooms we obviously need some tomatoes some chilies uh, and stuff like that before we can start cooking any of that as well. So I might put those back in actually. Um, herbal potions, we don't have any honey for or anything like that either. Uh, let's see, what time is it? At 6.05, we are at 60% sleep. Uh, well, let's have a, a bit of a uh, rock and roller. There we go, beautiful. So what we might do is uh, throw this stuff back down in the pantry, these mushrooms that we've got, because there's no point in us carrying them around with us at this point in time. There we go, into the pantry. I'm so excited that the pantry has, uh, has been done. Move that across there and move that across there. Awesome. Now, before we go to sleep, which we do need to go to sleep, I am going to take a quick jog in all my energy addict uh, ways over to uh, over to Jack the Pirate and uh, I want to see I actually want to see what time look at that isn't that beautiful look at that sunlight streaming through sort of uh, little bits of sun rays streaming through those trees and stuff um, yeah I want to see what we what we get for this processed food because we should actually get some good money for it Hey, uh, Jack. It's nice Hello, to see you again. Hello. To my store. Hello, Jack. All right. So, uh, what are you selling? Uh, any new rumors flying around? Uh, let's see. So, what do you have in your store? I can't remember which one it was. It was that one. All right. So, we're getting six, uh, six euro, six point four euros for that. Uh, we are getting twenty six euros for that. It's all money. It's all money. I'm sure Jack can on sell it. So, uh, Jack has a sausage. I'm going to buy that sausage. I am going to sell one of these deer pates. There we go. Uh, I am going to sell uh, three of these magic beans because we don't need those now that we're producing our own food. And I'll sell one of those, and we'll keep everything else on us for for an emergency. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jackie boy. Arr. All right. Next step is to uh, to go and have a nap because we are starting to get a little bit tired. Uh, whew, I thought that was the guy in the purple van there, and I was a little bit concerned about uh, about running along the road. All right. Back in here. Yeah, so we can start. Uh, we should be able to start actually putting some uh, redoing some of these buildings and putting some of the uh, some of the dry planks on which uh, should prep us for a little bit of painting which I am very excited about all right up we go there we'll go and have a little bit of a sleep we certainly won't do a week's sleep this time just a single night's sleep will do Have a sip of my coffee, seeing as how it's first thing in the morning. 
Okay, so we're at 88,000 social points, $7,153. We may actually also have enough money to be able to... Um, uh, are we hungry? No, we're not. We may actually have enough money to also be able to purchase that uh, logging trailer at some point as well, which will be very, very exciting. All right, so let's uh, duck over here. Uh, I'm not sure how long the honey takes to produce. I'm assuming that it will take sort of a week or so. Um, so hopefully uh, we get some of that happening. Uh, what have we got in the silo in regards to bark? 2,660 kilos, which is probably a, uh, a pretty good amount. We could probably do a load of that as well. But the first thing that we need to do is uh, load these dry planks up. Uh, we might uh, load the dry planks up. I would like to uh, do up, I think, I think I might do the greenhouse first. I do believe. That'll be pretty cool. We'll do up our greenhouse. Throw that in there. Pick that one up, throw that in there, there we go. So I was thinking, I was having a bit of a think last night, um, and I was considering doing a start from scratch replay of uh, Farmer's Dynasty. I haven't played Farmer's Dynasty for quite a while, wow, you goose. That's not what we wanted to do. I haven't played Farmer's Dynasty for a considerable amount of time. And I thought maybe we could do that. Um, how would you guys feel about uh, about a um, me starting a, lum a Farmer's Dynasty? <laughs> then I'm going to get them really confused. Um, starting a uh, Farmer's Dynasty playthrough from scratch. I mean, I can either start from scratch or I can start from the position that I was in in my last playthrough um, I don't know let me know what you think down in the comments because uh, yeah it'd probably be pretty cool to do that um, I do just love these these uh, these uh, dynasty games they're absolutely brilliant so all right so what we've got here is we've got uh, a whole pile of dry planks and uh, my plan is to get this all reconfigured and redone in uh, in lovely dry planks which is pretty cool now I did uh, people have mentioned in the comments that um, what I can do with the dry planks is I can use um, I can use the dry planks until there's only two on the pallet and um, and then you can actually sell the pallet um, you can actually sell the pallet at full price. It's a really good suggestion, but I, and I'm actually considering it. What worries me though, is that, uh, some people may get very upset if I do that because it's kind of a, it's kind of a little bit of a cheat. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a bug at the moment, I guess. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, a lot of people have actually suggested it, so uh, a lot of people are doing it. Uh, it would it would assist us greatly in moving forward in the game. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's a, it's a tough one to do that one. It's a tough a tough one to make a decision on. So um, for now, uh, what I might do is I might. Uh, for this episode, I might actually just leave uh, two in each pallet and see what you guys think. Um, it'd certainly help us out in the game a little bit. Uh, it'd help us move forward a little bit more, although probably not too many more because, um, you know, I mean, quite honestly, I'm not sure exactly how many pallets that uh, these things are going to have, dry planks that these things are going to be able to um, to take before they're completed, so... I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. It would be really awesome if you could do that. And uh, I know a lot of you will anyway. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? So that's two. Okay, so we've, we've used up nearly an entire 
palette there. So what we shall do is I shall go over and uh, go to number two. There we go. Well, we've got a hundred. And uh, let's continue on with this. All right, guys, I will see you when this one is done. This is pretty well done. It looks like it is. Looks like it's completed. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm at I'm at uh, to to uh, to put it this way. I'm at loggerheads with myself as to whether or not I um, whether or not I do take advantage of that and sell these pallets off. Um, uh, look, leaving the door open has completely and utterly upset that. I should have been closing the door. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, so there you go. All right, we are done. We are watered. And uh, we have our first building done in dry planks. I really wanted to do the greenhouse first. I absolutely love greenhouses, as you're probably aware. All right, um, because I'm going to pre-record another episode after this one, um, then I'm not overly sure whether I'm going to be able to whoop, get the chainsaw out. I'm going to be able to get the chainsaw out, no worries. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to uh, wait for you guys to... Um, to let me know what you think about the palette usage... Uh, or though I probably could because I could probably get away with not selling these anyway and just uh, dumping them off uh, I think we've still got a hundred percent in there. Yeah, we have So we could probably do a little bit of something uh, with these pallets. Let's uh, let's say let's do a little bit of this here All right um, yeah, and uh, and probably wait for your response and stuff. My plan today is to um, is to probably get out uh, a few more um, uh, a few more episodes of Lumberjacks Dynasty um, while I have the opportunity at the moment. So um, yeah, there you go. Um, sometimes it is it is good to take advantage of uh, of some of these little bugs and stuff. I know a lot of people do. Uh, at other times, it's uh, probably not such a good idea, but um, hmm, I'm not sure. So what I am going to do is I'm going to get rid of that 
I'm going to hop into here and we will uh, we will actually dump all of these pallets uh, perhaps over here so that they are set aside and we are aware uh, which ones we specifically used and then I can wait for your response on that so I think I know what the overwhelming response is going to be because everybody has already told me that uh, you can do that and that I should do that so let's throw those over there let's throw that one in there uh, and that is us for that all right let's uh head back into the sawmill let's grab a uh an entire load of these dry pallets and uh hopefully i can load them with the crane from where i've placed them and uh, go down and do a sell to see what we get for uh to see what we get for one load which will be pretty cool all right we also have a lot more i also have a lot more chipboard that i need to um that I do need to uh, sell off so there we go throw that in there uh, let's see throw you in there all right we are going well uh, let's take one more with us for the road there we go beautiful all right what I might do is I might head down to the uh, sale point uh, after I've just uh, rammed the very expensive sawmill equipment there with my truck all right I will see you when I get down there all right this is, is our going to be our first dry pallet sale so that's actually pretty exciting isn't it to be honest uh, let's see let's see now there we go uh, let's go into here we have 7142 euros okay so seven pallets for a total of 2100 I expected a little bit more than that I actually expected a little bit more than that but it's all money it's all money okay let's uh let's see if we can uh, yeah that, that that doesn't seem right to me but it is i know that it is right uh what have we got here uh, down at the sales point there uh plank crate dry 300 euros so yeah there you go so there's one eight yep two one all right okay there we go all right i will see you when we get back to the uh when we get back to the uh sawmill guys okay we'll squeeze through here and uh we need to load some of these boards on now because we're gonna have quite a lot of these boards a lot of them in fact i think oh there we go throw that on there throw that on there and on there okay uh we'll grab a couple more with the forklift again i know that i can pull inside there and i can pick them um straight up but uh i actually would like to do it this way so I am going to do it this way. Here we go. The forklift is actually quite fun to use. Let's spin in there. Uh, all right. Oh, lower that down a little bit. There we go. Got that pallet there. Spin in here. Hopefully we don't hit that. We should be all right raise that one up and uh, drop him in here there we go excellent excellent and we will grab one more of those as well actually we could probably grab two more to be honest that one there 
Come on, there you go. Uh, this one's got to go around the... I'll, I'll just drop this one here. Because we will pick that up with the... Actually, I'll drop both of them here and we'll just pick them both up with the crane. I'm just going to take that post out there. Uh, very important lumberjack tip there. Uh, if you are driving the forklift, take as many posts out as you possibly can. It's for the good of the industry. Spin you around there. And drop you off there. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So that's pretty cool. We're going to have heaps more of these coming through. Heaps more. Uh, crates waiting to create, to create is zero. I thought we would have had more than that, seriously. Okay. But that's all right. That's all right. Now, uh, let's see. We'll jump in this guy here. If they'll let us get in. And uh, somebody left it in reverse. Uh, let's load these up. There's one there. And, oh. Almost. And there's one hanging there. Perfect. Alright. Uh, it would be nice if you could hook a trailer up to this, but you can't. If we could hook a trailer up to this, we could have taken a load of, uh, perhaps a load of bark or something, maybe, with us, which would have, uh, which would have been pretty cool, to be honest. All right, and out we go again. There we go. I will see you when we get down to the sales point, guys. Okay, let's see, uh, there's uh, 1,820, which is pretty cool as well. All right, what are we sitting at? We're sitting at 11,000. Uh, we still have quite a bit to sell as well, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about uh, about, about the planks, um, selling off those uh, those lesser uh, planks, the ones that we've kind of uh, half used. Uh, I did actually use one entire plank because I wasn't taking any notice, so I did actually use one entire crate. Um, so yeah, whether we do that, and also let me know what you think about a, a farmer's dynasty, or whether you'd like to see a farmer's dynasty series um, running side by side with uh, Lumberjack's dynasty, because I'm actually feeling more and more like getting back into that again as well. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Um, you know, a little bit of messing around. We've got, some, we've got our greenhouse sorted out, which is absolutely awesome. Um, we've, uh, we've eaten a sausage. Well, we've eaten a couple of sausages now. Um, yeah, there you go. I will see you in the next episode. If you really like this one, please hit like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe because I am bringing out as much content as I can and I will continue to do so even when I go back to work. But uh, in the meantime, guys, from, uh, from the lumberjacking world, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.